So um, my agenda for, um, I gotta try to move this screen up. So what my agenda is today is what you're gonna learn from this event is you're going to uh, learn three key items you must have in a website to be effective. Um, you're gonna learn how to uh, make uh, your Google map or Google My Business page, uh, in other words, a Google map location and show you how to rank it high. I'm gonna do step-by-step -step instructions on how to rank above your competitors, uh, how to compete with large companies on the same level playing field. So this really, if any of you have multiple addresses or you have uh, a, a lot of rental properties or you have, uh, if you're a real estate broker and you have a lot of agents working for you uh, or you've just got a lot of friends and family, uh, around you, then uh, that will majorly help on that part of the, the presentation. So um, I'm also going to show you how to optimize your website for the best results. And then I'm going to show you how to get uh, free leads from 30 different directory sites, sites for just a uh, one-time investment of $10. So, um, so with that said, uh, the first thing I want to say is, <clears throat> and I've, I've learned this, and I'm, I, unfortunately, I'm still learning it. Uh, the best uh, way to succeed in the internet is to follow the rules 100%. So I've tried every stupid move there is. And basically, whatever like Google's policies and procedures are, I try to make sure I abide by them. And, but I, there's... But when I see a loophole, but following the rules that I can do without violating any of their rules, then that's another story. So, <clears throat> and I found that if I rank myself well on Google, I pretty much am there on Yahoo and Bing. So, um, and today Google is the one that rules. That's where, you know, 70% of the people are going. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be focused around a lot on this presentation. Um, first of all, can everybody hear me okay? If anybody can't hear me, just unmute yourself and say that. And if I uh, get too quiet, yeah, already you'll let me know too, I know. So when you're, um, there's some things you need to understand about the internet. People say, well, I'm on page two or I got myself up there. Uh, what you need to understand is when you're on page one, the in the first position, about 32% of the traffic is going to go to you. If you're in the second position, 17%, third position, 11%. But what you really want to look at is when you get down to page two or look at all other pages, it's less than 10%. So what I'm really saying, the only thing that counts is to be on page one and to be at the top of page one, if you can. So, uh, so that that's, that's your mission or that's your focus or that's your goal or what you want to do. So if you're brand new to this, uh, you want to, and you want to build your first website, uh, here's what you're going to do. You're going to uh, go out and find the number one website, the one that gets the most traffic that does the exact same thing you do. And then what you're going to do is you're going to model success. Now, I'm not going to have you in any way, shape, or form hurt that competitor, but what you are going to do is you're going to case them. And what case means is you're going to copy and steal everything. But what you're going to do then is you're going to find a copywriter. So you're going to copy their site. You're going to then find a copywriter that can rewrite it. Uh, and then you're going to get a WordPress um, and, and re-put your stuff up. So you want it all look like them, but you're going to be able to take all the work of all the things that are bringing them success and have it on your own site. That is the cheapest and the easiest way to get where you want to go. And if somebody wants to disagree, it's okay, but that's what I do. Uh, there's three main... Any comments? Uh, there's, there's three main items that you must have. I call it modeling success. So three key items that you must have on your website to be effective. You've got to have your phone number in the upper right-hand corner. 
and you want to have a tracking number on anything you do that's like let's say you're you're doing something uh in different places on the internet you want to have a tracking number to see where your traffic's coming from and on our tracking numbers we set them to be recorded and uh, that way we can tell if the call is going over two minutes if we, we've got a real lead and we can also listen to that lead <clears throat> so like i i build a lot of sites that are cash for your house in different locations so when that call comes in it goes to a call center and but it's recorded and then the call center sends ask all the questions they send the lead back to me but uh i've got a recording of that and the second the people call in the, it's the recording is text to me and it's also emailed to me. So I've got a way of tracking stuff. So you also wanna have a contact page. Uh, I use a lot of jot forms because I can design them the way I want them on all the information I wanna get. So when somebody's coming on the website, you're gonna get that. And then you want your main page and I'm gonna show you this a little later in the slide. You want your main page to have the juice as I say, but your main page links to another page and flows all the way through the website so that that flows down to the local page. Because what I'm gonna do is majorly SEO my main page and that SEO or links that I'm building to it and things I'm doing to it will flow through to the rest of the site. So said another way, if my site was uh, a site that was uh, cash for your house, but then I had, that was my main site but then I had local pages with different cities on them. The, the links that I'm building to my main page are then gonna flow directly to the other pages. And I'll show you, I've got a diagram, it'll be a lot more clear. And if you're interested in doing a, having a done for you website, uh, we do those and it's about 750 and Freddie's phone number will be on here. It's something that he does and uh, I work with him on it, so. Um, let me, and there's my email. It's moppin.mark at gmail. Um, so the, the one big question is Google always has algorithm changes. So how does, how does your business keep up with an algorithm change that all of a sudden uh, affects uh, how, the, how the sites are gonna be ranked and where you fall? Well, here's the answer to that question. You you need to build a foundation that's based upon more than just your website. So your objective is to try to be on page one with more than one form of, of, of uh, website. So these are just the things, and, and it's kind of like my foundations and I'll go through them. There's not gonna be a, uh, this is gonna be a really non-linear approach to the, the website, but but we always use unique content. We always have measurable results. So like if, uh, if I had a, a directory site or I had something competing against my website, it's gonna have a different phone number on it a lot of times that's trackable. Uh, so, uh, and then we're gonna always be measuring our results. So you gotta be able to measure your results. Uh, we're gonna focus in on SEO on our website. But now remember Google is the largest search engine, but the second largest search engine is YouTube. Uh, so we're very focused on making sure that we know how to get YouTube videos to rank. Uh, so in those YouTube videos in the descriptions, you can add links that go back to your main site or other things that you wanna rank. And I'll show you that. Uh, when we're doing it. So if I can push a YouTube video up to the top, then that's going to help rank my other stuff. So my main objective is to get low cost leads. Um, I'm going to uh, watch my ranking positions all the time. Uh, I, I'm going to use integrity in what I'm doing because uh, basically in following their rules. I'm gonna build a lot of backlinks, but not so many to my website as I build to other things that point to my website. And I'll show you how to do that. And I'm gonna use a lot of social sites. Like you'll see Facebook up on page one, you'll see Twitter up on page one, you'll see uh, different things that pop up on page one. So I'm gonna focus in on those. A lot of times you'll see Yelp up there. 
So and I'm going to build landing pages and I'm going to do classified ads and I'm going to do pretty much everything you see on that page. So the first thing you do when you're building something or whatever you're competing against, like, so if you were doing cash for your house or real estate company or sell my house fast or property management company or mortgage company or handyman, or if you're a roofer, any, any type of item like that, you want to do the searches and see what's coming up on page one in your competition. So if directory, if directory sites are coming up, you want to be there like Yelp, Merchant Circle, Circle Foursquare. Uh, you want to look at what social sites are popping up, like Facebook or Scribe or SlideShare or Twitter. You want to look at your uh, uh, maps. Maps are always going to come up if you're if you're a service business. So I want to I'm going to get into the maps or Google My Business places in in a big way before we get away from all this. YouTube will pop up on page one. Your website, so images will pop up. Uh, press releases uh, usually don't pop up on page one, but there's a news section. But right when the press release is released, if it's a good press release service, it'll pop on page one. But it's a high domain authority site. And some press releases that we release, if your uh, titles are, are, are uh, are shocking enough people, you know, I can get up to 2000 reads on a press release. And then uh, we use classified ads, especially for service related businesses. And I use Craigslist a lot. So I call this my SEO pro pack. So it's your website, your videos, your blogs, your Google place maps, your classified ads, your directory listings, your landing page, your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, Scribe, SlideShare, press releases, backlinks, those are like key to what it takes to put this together. So <clears throat> let me get a drink of water. So nearly, so, so that's the website, but nearly 70 or really nearly 60% of all internet searches are done on smartphones. Uh, so, and 75% of those smartphones are Android and Android is owned by Google. So when you're going into search and you say, you know, like if you're out to get people who want to sell their house and you've got cash for your house or sell my house quickly or uh, the key search phrases for that, then what's going to pop up first on that cell phone is going to be some ads. And the second thing is going to be the map locations. So, uh, and I'm going to, we'll go live and do some of these searches. So uh, being able to rank on maps is absolutely essential. Uh, so I think what we'll do is I'm gonna uh, exit this right now. And I just wanna go over and give you some examples. So like, think about it. If you're gonna get a pizza, you just say pizza in your cell phone. And then what pops up is the ads above well, I didn't do pizza, but I put cash for my home. So uh, what pops up is the ads. And then what pops up next is the maps, cash for your house. So we buy ugly homes, cash for your house, Waterford and cash for my house uh, and a realtor. So my partner and I are one of these maps. And uh, what you want to realize is in order to be in those top three maps, you need to look at what other people are competing for that position. So watch as I go down the page, because these are all the other guys that want to be in the three pack. In other words, one of those three maps that come up. So there's 20 of these to a page, but look, it goes seven pages deep. So there's a lot of competition for people in my market for that. So there's some things you've got to do to get your map to come up above theirs. And I'm going to get into that this evening. So um, let me uh, uh, give another example. So now we're here and we go in and we do a search for a real estate company. Again, the ads pop up, which are very expensive, and then pops up um, three map locations of which one of them is me. But remember, I'm at my house. So now what I want to say is, 
Google will tell you if you're a business that you only need one Google Place map location. Now, that is a bit of a fallacy because what happens is with one map location, uh, they lose power by miles. So like if I went 30 miles from here and I did, you know, said that same thing, or if I went 30 miles away and I said real estate company in Detroit, uh, the search is not going to be the same as if I was in Detroit saying real estate company or real estate company Detroit. So there's some software out that you can actually relocate you in the exact spot. So what I'm really telling you is if I was a, uh, if I was a service business, let's say like I'm a, uh, um, a handyman, and I have other handymen that work for me and they have homes or I've got friends and family, then, and they're in different cities, I can actually build more than one Google map location. So I'm actually able to bring myself up uh, and be found more often. So, uh, and that's where I've got a lot of expertise. So, uh, so let's do another one. So like here's a property management company. So uh, same thing, dumpsters, I work for a lot of large dumpster companies throughout the US. Priority is one of the dumpster companies I work for. It's, it's number one. But if you again, if you go down and look at the other businesses that compete, there's tons of them. Uh, property management company, same, same thing. Uh, but notice there's no ads running right now for property management companies. Dumpsters, there's, there may or may not be ads. No ads because most dumpster companies are open from eight to uh, eight to five. So they're competing during their hours for the ads. Whereas with the real estate uh, company, uh, they're up at all hours and you can see there's a lot of ads there. So then a mortgage company, same thing, the ads pop up, but there's the three maps and these are organic. So th if you can get there, then you're doing really well. So let me go back to the PowerPoint. Is everybody following what I'm saying? Maybe like put a yes in or whatever in the chat. Ready, you can give me feedback. Um, give me just a second here. Okay. So, um, So how do you make uh, your Google My Business page rank or your map rank? So how you're going to make it rank is there's three items. What you name your map, if it's cash for cash for your house, and maybe you name it cash for your house, a city name. And then uh, it's address. And sometimes address is just the city it's located in. But if you actually want to show the address, here's another good thing for you. If you're a service-related business, like a realtor, a contractor, anybody where you go to the customer, you do not have to show your address. So uh, when you build this location, your address does not have to show. So then what you need is NAP, name, address, and phone number. And then the website also you're going to put in whatever you're doing too. So you're, because you have a website attached to the map, then you need citations. The citation would be like uh, Yelp, Merchant Circle, Hot Frog, uh, social profiles, uh, social sites. And you're gonna make sure that you have the map and that. And then you're also gonna have the link to your Google, your Google map. You guys can mute, mute yourself if you got noise in the background. Uh, then you want to uh, build links to those citations. So in other words, a, a citation will be like Yelp. So Yelp's got the the Yelp site I build has the exact same name as my map location, has that address, has the same phone number, has the link showing my website, same website that's on the map. So now I'm going to build links or citations to the Yelp site because Yelp is a huge network and you can't hurt by building those links and you can make that all much more powerful citation, which helps raise it. Then YouTube, if you're YouTube, 
video, let's say it's Cash for Your House Detroit, if that's at the top of YouTube, then what's going to happen is, and you put the link for your map or done the nap on the description, that's, remember, it's the second largest browser on the internet. That's going to help bring that Google map location right to the top. So then having your website uh, at the top also uh, will help majorly bring your, uh, your map locations up. Like the priority waste I showed you earlier, their uh, website is right at the top of Google, which majorly helps them. Um, so now, if you want to get a, an unfair competitive advantage, if you're a real estate broker and you have agents, and if you're an investor and you have lots of properties, or if you're a property manager, and you can build more than one map location, then you have a distinct advantage over your competitors. And uh, because of uh, the maps are geo-driven. So, uh, so that's a major, if you understand that you have a major uh, advantage over everybody. And if you fall into those categories, if you contact me, I'll spend some more time with you on it. And I'll, I'll make you a deal you can't turn down because you've got something that I want. Uh, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to rank uh, above your competitors. So you do the Google My uh, Place page. You use the YouTube to get there. And last night I did a, uh, a webinar on how to rank YouTube videos. So uh, I'm going to that's being edited uh, today and it'll go up on my YouTube channel. So um, if you just uh, uh, do Mark Mop and YouTube channel, it should pop up and you'll find that there in a couple of days or if you are a member of one of the meetups, I'll be sending it out. So, uh, so if service related employee businesses that have employees, you can use their, their addresses and locations and uh, you, you'll be following all their rules. So now um, some reasons why you'd really wanna, whoops, just hit the wrong thing here. Some reasons you might wanna listen to me. I've been doing this now for 15 years. I have 15 full-time people that work for me. Uh, I have uh, done it for seven national franchises. Uh, I no longer do it for any of them. Uh, that made me absolutely insane because uh, they're always looking for the grasses greener on the other side of the hill. And it, it, it's not something I like. Uh, I worked for one former president of a, of a country. I've got all kinds of appliance companies, dryer cleaning companies that I've had most of my customers since about 2006. Uh, I do it for a national charity. I do it for dumpster companies all over. Uh, do it for remodelers and I do it for real estate people uh, and restaurants. Uh, what I do, I can only do for one customer in a given area because I, otherwise I've got my own customers competing against each other. So, um, but I'm giving you guys enough good stuff that you should be able to go out, back out and do some stuff here after this. So I'm gonna talk about some SEO techniques that'll move items to page one. So this is what we talked about, Yelp. There's a Yelp site. So the name of that listing is the exact same name as my map. I have the uh, backlinks or must. So I create links, I optimize this Yelp site. Uh, I utilize some of the uh, some of exact matching anchor text. And there's a place that you guys can all go and get 30 directory sites built for less than $10. It's a site called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -E and you're going to look for directory sites. When you go to Fiverr, you want to look for the guy who's got the best reviews uh, and who's uh, done this quite a bit and got good reviews. And they'll build the directory sites for you and they'll give you the uh, login, login information for them. And that's a good quick way to do it. Uh, I actually use Fiverr for some of that uh, today. Uh, you wanna have social sites like Facebook pages. Uh, you wanna have um, 
Uh, and I also build links back to my Facebook pages. Uh, again, massive backlinking is a must for me against, not against my direct website, but against things that point to my website. Um, on a Google, uh, Google map, if you don't know how to build a Google place page, if you go to YouTube and just ask how to build one, you'll you'll find videos there that'll walk you through step-by-step. Step. You can stop and start them and, and get your um, site up. Uh, you definitely need to have a separate email for each uh, map location, a separate phone number, and uh, you can utilize the same website, but if you're going to be building more than one uh, Google map location, you need to have local pages in your website. If you use the main website, your pages will get knocked down. Citations are a must. And uh, uh, again, you need multiple addresses. So uh, videos is um, key. And on the video, there's this description under the video. And that's where you're going to put in all your links. And when you watch the video on, the, on what we did last night, you'll see what I'm talking about. Sometimes I'll do press releases and I'll use my press release in the description at the bottom because it's already got built-in backlinks and everything. So, um, and uh, a press release, a press release is something I, I make some type of shocking uh, headline uh, like, uh, um, I mean, I'm real estate agent upsets real estate market by um, having um, uh, the most uh, uh, buyers for cash for your house, something that's kind of shocking. I, I, have to, I play with it until I get it because then you're going to have a lot of reads on it. And um, then the first paragraph in a press release is what they call a hook. It's they want you to keep on reading. So you need to have a good uh, intro into the thing. And like, why would they want to read the rest of this? And then the rest of the press release just answers the questions, who, what, why, and where. Uh, and then you have a close in the press release. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about on-site versus off-site search engine optimization. So on your actual website, uh, all the optimization is actually on that website. Offsite means that you're going to optimize offsite. In other words, building links and stuff coming back to the site, like blogs, Facebook, videos, social sites, directory sites. Um, and there's certain ways that you can do that. So there's, um, I'm just giving you an example. Like this is like a simple silo. So like if you've got links feeding to a, home page, which is like bathroom remodeling home page, then those links flow to the other pages like bathroom systems, shower systems, walk-in tubs. And then that link flows back to the main page. So it captures all the juice that's being fed to that site back to the home page. Uh, I'm probably not giving this in proper technical terms, but I'm just trying to get it in terms that you can understand. And then you might have one with shower systems or walk-in tubs. I'm just trying to give you examples of stuff. Back in 2006 and that, what we would do is we would just, the old method, we would just build all kinds of sites and links pointing directly at the main site. Today, that will get the main site, uh, the algorithm's not gonna like it and your site's not gonna be on page one. So you have to do, uh, build links like you might have like forums like these sites like on the at the very bottom down here where it says site 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 where there's the most of them that might be stuff like uh, forums real simple uh, syndication articles classifieds profiles social media blogs social bookmarking directories that are pointing to another site which might be a YouTube that's then pointing to the main site. So you don't follow any given pattern on how you do this. So it, um, it looks different. Here's a, a silo that's going like from page one to page two to page three, but, and that page two has a link pointing to page three, page three has a link pointing to page four, and it rolls on around. 
And then the way that you have your links pointing, like you can have uh, uh, different types of naked links. So by that, what I mean is, it's like you've got HTTPS website, and then some of them are just www in the website. So there's different ways that you can structure the actual URL. So you want to vary that. Um, not if you're building everything the same, an algorithm will pick it up. So um, then uh, this is like another example. So let's say that we're doing like real simple syndication, web 2.0 or social bookmarking, and that's pointing to a press release. The press release is pointing to a YouTube. The YouTube is pointing to a buffer site. So what do I mean by buffer site? That means that that site I can go. I can go back in that site anytime I want and change where that link's pointing. So let's say the website gets wiped out, then I can redirect my buffer site to my landing page or to some other media. So all that juice gets rerouted. So, um, and I don't expect everybody to understand this. I'm just trying to break it down, kind of like to give you a flavor of how it works. Then you need outbound links, and you need outbound links going to uh, high domain authority sites like CNN and, you know, the New York Times. And you can take them back out links like if you were building something and then you'd want to find a, a link or take it back out to an article that was related to what your website is in one of these major websites. Uh, so your plan is pretty simple. You've got your website. And then what you want to do is you want to start building some high domain authority type sites to it or vary it. So let's say in this case, you've got some directory listings pointing to a certain page on your website. Then you might want to have a press release, classified ads that, and other things that point back to those other sites that point. And then all of a sudden, you're going to start adding stuff like, like the forums, the real simple syndication, the articles, the classifieds, uh, profiles, social bookmarking, blogs, uh, directory sites. And so that's how you're gonna get your site to move up, the off page. So, um, so how to compete with the larger companies on the same level playing field, I, I said, hire me, it's simple, but it really is because what I charge is pretty nominal. Like if you've got Google businesses, I charge $2.95 and I will build up to three map locations for you, but you have to have the addresses. If you've got a, more volume or more locations than that, then ask me about a volume package. Uh, or you can do this on your own because I'm showing you everything exactly the way I do it here. Uh, and then uh, you need to be able to do some strong YouTube marketing because remember it's the second largest browser. So you've got to be able to get them up. So watch the video that I did last night when I post it. Uh, and uh, another thing you can do is, you know, you could hire somebody for uh, that from India and I have, 14 people that work for me from India, they all have college educations. They're all very qualified and the cost of labor compared to uh, trying to get that done in, in the States is I, I couldn't, I couldn't do the pricing I do if I had to do that. So, uh, and I've had relationships, the guy that runs my team since with him since 2007, 2000, I'm not sure, 2007 or 2006. So somebody that's worked for me for a long time and understands exactly how I think. And we do conference calls once a week and uh, I'm able to get him anytime I want on WhatsApp. Uh, and most of the people I, that work for me there um, speak um, pretty good English. And then, Reddy, are you on? Can you... Uh, Ready is the person that I use to hire these people. So if you're interested in hiring somebody to do outsourcing, talk to Ready. Uh, and I don't know, are you still on Ready? Maybe not. Yes, Mark, I'm here. Yeah. So, so uh, you guys can uh, take down my number and give me a call in case you guys are interested. Uh, and uh, we have a team in India and uh, 
Uh, I mean, basically, they are good for any kind of office work or, or if you need some search engine optimization or video creation or ranking websites or anything like that. Uh, you can talk to me and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to be down like maybe five, six dollars an hour for somebody there. All right. Uh -huh. So and uh, you could uh, hire either uh, part time or full time. So I got through this fairly quickly. So I wanted to open it up for questions uh, that anybody might have uh, and also show contact information there. So feel free to unmute yourself and ask a question or if there's any questions in the chat. And if you put your email into the chat, then I will email you this PowerPoint uh, uh, and contact information.